Welcome back to another Monday. Um, yeah, hope you guys had a great weekend. Hope you starting your Monday out strong. Uh, Monday set the tone for the week. So make sure, I mean, you starting the week off right. Uh, so a bit of a recap of the week. Um, as you know, I do have therapy on Fridays. So, um... This past Friday, this uh, therapy session was um, very, very, I would say, beneficial. Um, at the beginning of the therapy, my therapist asked me, uh, she was like, uh, what do you think was different about last week's session? And I told her, I was like, uh, I feel like I was more open. And she was like, yeah. So that led into this week um this friday so basically i was able to be more open um continuing on with the automatic thoughts uh actually working through that um was very good i had about i want to say like six different automatic thoughts that i worked out um i was surprised at myself and my therapist was as well so we went over she was like oh you have more i was like yeah i have a whole list she was like oh wow so yeah um we worked through that um and yeah like i said i was able to be more open uh answering all the questions like uh that come on the sheet uh the sheets i'm talking about is like an automatic thought handout or whatever questionnaire that um she has me working through uh i'm gonna try to put them down below um because i have them downloaded on my computer so i'll try to put them down in the description so you could download it as well and then like do your own like automatic thoughts um and if you don't know what they are you could go to the previous videos and basically i broke it down and it's a link for a, a article that you can read um so yeah therapy was great uh we talked about a lot um still planning to go to uh tennessee for thanksgiving to basically have a conversation with my mom but we're gonna see how that work out because i i just had an interview um for a job uh in the field of social work is what i'm gonna be going to grad school for so i found a job had an interview uh friday uh so yeah we're gonna see how that work out but i'm think i think i had a great interview and it's basically working at like a 10-day crisis residential house uh where we be taking referrals from the hospital basically people suffering from mental uh illnesses they come to the house for like a 10 day uh thing and then basically what we do we have group group work with them group therapy uh you'll be signed i'll be assigned to like three different people at the house and then so during your shift you have different um groups and then you'll do individual therapy with them as well uh, monitor them taking their medication uh make sure they're doing their chores and then like for lunch or whatever they cooking food for themselves so different stuff like that so yeah um hoping i get that job still waiting to hear back from howard to see if i got accepted so we still in the mindset that i did get accepted just waiting to get the confirmation um so yeah this is gonna be a short video. I don't really have that much cause I didn't really do anything this week. Um, just working and then the interview. So that was the interview and therapy was the highlight of the week. Um, automatic thoughts, that's continuous. Uh, you basically wanna do those every day. Uh, so then you'll be able to identify without writing it down on the paper. So put those down below. And with the automatic thoughts that led me to um, 
basically I started writing like an ebook. So the ebook is called Five Ways to Become a More Positive Thinker. So the automatic thoughts, they identify the negative thoughts. So you want to replace those negative thoughts with positive thoughts. And that's why it's, it led me into basically writing down and getting this ebook together to tell you ways to become more positive thinking. Uh, so I don't have a date when I'll be releasing the ebook. It will be free. Uh, I'll, all you have to do is... Um, like put your email so it can email you the digital copy of the ebook. So it will be free. And yeah, I mean, I just think it's information that people need to see, read. It's not that long. Uh, five quick ways, boom, boom, boom. And then you accompany that, those positive uh, methods with the automatic thoughts. And you'll see it'll start to change the way you basically look at yourself and your outlook on different situations so i'll keep you posted when i'll be releasing that i uh, don't know when yet i'm not finished with it yet so yeah keep an eye out for that i uh, appreciate y'all for tuning in to this vlog like i said we're going to keep going down this mental health journey uh, any questions you have you can post them down below in the comment section if you like the video give it a like share if you're not subscribed please do subscribe and yeah just continue with me on this journey i uh, hope whatever stage you're at in your journey um uh, i hope i could come along and help you in any way possible uh so yeah that's what it's about everyone has their own journey and to the best of your ability you walk that journey uh you get with other people who maybe experience those things or are experiencing those things and basically you just get the information this that's all you could do i mean if you don't know you don't know uh but you can't be afraid to ask the question so if you don't know something about a certain situation or whatever ask the question get that clarification and then move forward so once you have that knowledge you can apply it to the next situation and you won't be in the same spot that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah. Until next time, remember, spread love, not hate. Peace.